In this video I'm gonna show you how I prepare presentations for my clients. It's a 40 plus page presentation. So we have the first logo, some explanation, logo on, on different colors, and then we have mock-ups. Then we have the second concept, explanation and mock-ups. Then at the end we have comparison board so client can see compare these concepts and give you some feedback right so to make a comparison fair of course i use the same mockups now i have a systemized process so it's super easy to create the whole presentation with just a few clicks here and there so starting with a uh, illustrator file here is my messy illustrator file but i have those artboards which i'm gonna use in my presentation in design right so my goal is to design three logo concepts and then a few slides for each so i'm gonna use this brand presentation template that you can find on my website so it's super easy to use and i designed this using master pages so you can just replace this logo right here and it's gonna replace the logo everywhere then you can change the colors and then you can use styles right here to change globally the, the fonts and the colors to match your brand. Then obviously you're gonna have to input the company name here, which is Airport Executive. And then you can just change this a little bit, just put the name in here, put the company name in here, and then you can leave it as it is. So how to get from this to this, right? So it's super simple. You click on this, you open the links window right here and all you have to do is just link this to your illustrator file when you link it you want to select show import options because when you do that then you can select each of these logos right so i'm just going to select the black logo on white and i'm going to hit ok and then use the shortcut alt command e to center this on the artboard i'm going to of course change this description accordingly and then i'm going to do the same with the next one right so here is the original presentation right so i just go to links and i relink this to my illustrator file with this show import options checkbox selected right and so i'm just gonna switch to the second one now i'm gonna show you how to actually embed these mockups right so i've prepared some mockups using photoshop so i have this mockup which i found on the internet right it's a free mockup there are certain rules that you need to follow to prepare this so i'm using layer comps to just switch the logo so look this is the first logo this is the second one and this is the third one right so how i did that so basically when you open your mockup you're gonna have this layer where you put your designs right so you're gonna have only one so what i did is i duplicated twice and then i created this layer comp so for example i go here i double click i'm gonna design my business card so let's say just for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna put it over there and then i once i save it it's gonna show up here right then i can also so adjust other things like the color of this background and stuff like that and once i do this i'm just gonna click this plus button and i'm gonna create a layer comp which i already did and then i'm gonna duplicate that new smart object via copy this is very important so i have the first one the second one and the third one I do this because when I go to InDesign, just drop my PSD file right here. All you have to do is just go right click, go to object layer options, and then switch it between those layer comps, right? So for the first concept, I'm just gonna select the first one, I'm gonna hit OK, and what it does is gonna load the first concept, right? So basically, I do this for all the mockups, right? So I have the business card, and then I have uh, other mockups, and I do the same. So if I do it this way, and using object layer options and then using the layer comps, I can just switch between the concepts. And if clients wants to do some revisions, all I have to do is just go to back to Photoshop, update this layer comp, 
by using these buttons and then it automatically is going to update my presentation in design so that's how you build the whole presentation once you design mockups for the first concept then all you have to do is just duplicate those pages and do the same for the second one right and then when you make those changes in either in illustrator right let's say i i do something weird like i put a square here right i save this file and if i switch over here all i have to do is just go to links and this notification that the file changed and all i have to do is just double click and we have this square and it's gonna update this everywhere so it's here and it's on the first slide as well okay so once you are done with that and you've built the whole presentation what i do next i can just publish the whole presentation online and then send the link to my client so you make changes in illustrator or photoshop you just update this document online and this is the link i send it to my client and I actually create a custom link under my domain so it looks nice you can send it to your client by email and they can just see the whole presentation see all of the concepts and if they have any changes you can update this link without having to resend pdfs and having like hundreds of different versions so you just work with this one presentation you update the concepts and then the goal is to have client to approve one of them right that's the easiest way to present logo and brand identity concepts to your clients using my indesign presentation designing mockups in photoshop and of course embedding your illustrator file directly in indesign so if you like this video then give it a like and follow for more tips and i will see you in the next video